Alright, hi I'm Cairo. I need help with my tray flips. So here are the tricks I know. Hey dudes, so and thanks a lot for sending your video. I really do appreciate it. That was a really good kickflip. Nice and leveled out. Nice flick. Looked really good. So having a good kickflip is a great start to uh, tray bombs. Either my front foot doesn't catch it or I flip it too far from me. Hmm. Yeah, we got to work on, like, you're trying to catch it with your back foot. We got to switch that up. Thank you. Please help me out. Thank you, and let's do this. So you're scooping super hard with your back foot, ba ba booey. But then I want you to put your back foot on the ground. You're getting very comfortable, and I see that you've like practiced yourself into this rhythm where you put your front foot on the ground and you try and catch it with your back foot. Well, on the 360 flip, that is incorrect. You actually want to catch it with your front foot always, 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 always. Your front foot catches the board on the tray flip and then puts it down and then you bring your back foot on. So we have to switch that up. We have to get you practicing stepping off with your back foot and putting your front foot out there, leaving it right there to catch the board, bringing it down so you can stomp it and roll away like a boss, like a boss, like a bezos. Um, the other problem you're running into is like the board is going too far away from you. And the same practice step of stepping off your back foot is also going to help you out with that. So before you actually pop the tray flip, it's very important that you're not leaning too far forward over the nose, like over the front of the board. If you're leaning too far forward, then the board is either going to go behind you or off to the side or just not right underneath you right where you want it to go. So you want to practice leaning back. And that exact same practice step of leaning back and stepping off with your back foot and just purposely leaving your front foot out there and holding it out there to practice catching the board is what's going to handle basically all of that for you. So it's basically just um, putting in that one, that one main practice step. So notice my back foot and how far my toes are off the side of the board. That gives me a super ability to scoop the board and just gives me a ton of leverage over the side. I actually like curve my toes down and over the side and then just shoot it straight back. And that's what gives me that super scooped tray flip. And then my front foot, you'll notice, I just kind of let it hover out there and right in front of the board. Watch my front foot, it barely does anything. And then as soon as the board comes around, it goes, it actually shoots right into my front foot. And then I just land it and roll away. But how you practice getting the board to shoot right into your front foot is that step that I just gave you. It's switching your feet around, purposely stepping off your back foot and putting your front foot on there. And once you're really, 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 really good at that, then you can catch the board with your front foot. Once you can catch the board with your front foot, all you have to realize is that all you have to do with your back foot is bend your back knee. It's interesting, I have been teaching some kids to do kickflips lately, and uh, I'll teach them to kickflip, step off their back foot, and then just put their front foot on there, and they'll be able to do that, and they'll be able to land it every try like that. And then I'll be like, okay, well now all you need to do is bend your back knee. And then they just pop it, flick it, bend their back knee and land it and it's like boom, it's so easy. But I think just getting the, the proper like practice steps down first, which is what I gave you here in this video, is just so vitally important it's not even funny. So I expect you to have your tray flips mastered very fast. Cool, so you guys should definitely get Skateboarding Made Simple. The one that covers 360 flips is volume 5. That's myself and Mr. Christopher Chan going over some of the intermediate flat ground tricks. So it's definitely awesome. I hope you guys get the video. You will love it. You definitely will love it. It's available on iTunes and at BrailleSkateboarding.com as a digital download. So thanks a lot for your support.